Hello everyone. Happy Wednesday and tenth day of Christmas Tide. We're gonna continue with Metal Gear Solid on the PC. Let's see what we got. Alright, we're gonna turn this down a little bit. Nope. Alright. Blinky, a little cold in my room. <sighs> Alright, so as of the previous stream, the Darpa Chief is dead. He died from a heart attack. And with the help of a mysterious soldier, we wiped out a squadron that came into the holding cell. And we had a hallucination of what possibly was. Psychomantis. Okay. So now we have to go down to find the president. What's his name? Baker. Whatever his name is. Okay. Arms tech, whatever, whatever they are. Anyways. Here we go. Read mission log. Yes. Snake gets in touch with the DARPA chief, but the chief says that the terrorists found out one of the two detonation codes necessary to launch the nuclear warhead. The chief tells Snake that it is possible to deactivate the detonation code by using the detonation code emergency override key held by Arms Tech President Kenneth Baker, who is trapped on the second floor basement. However, right after that, he dies from a heart attack. Snake cooperates with a female soldier that he met and escapes the cell and heads for the second floor basement of the tank hangar to rescue Baker. Maybe not. Wada. Okay, water's still fresh. Alright. Let's see what we got over here. There's Johnny. And there's the Dark Chief. He dead. Just like my harps and dreams. There we go. Got my bullets. We're good to go. Alright, let's go. Grenades. Okay. And 
know you're probably thinking, well, Captain, why are you using uh, thermal goggles? Well, the reason being is because these uh, rooms they have wires, or not wires, they have, um, they got lasers in them that, if tripped, can uh, set an alarm off. Bomb go boom. Yeah. Bomb went boom. Okay. Oh, yay. We got Jamie. Hang on a second. I'm gonna check something here. Yes. All right, here we go. What's in here? Oh, more stuff. Wow, well, you can see a mountain right there. That's pretty cool. All right. All right. What's in here? I wonder. Hey, there's the president. Tech president Kenneth Baker, right? Uh, don't worry, I'm here to save you. Uh, no, no, don't touch it. C4. Oh shit. Right. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. Damn. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. You. Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. Oh, wow. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt's single action army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Oh boy.
all the bullet count. Talk to you. Epstein's list was uh, just released, and your name was on it. Hello, sir. Your name was on the list. I gotta talk to you. Okay. code is the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight, but I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! My hand! My master my hand! Oh. Well, like I said, you can't fix that, old man. Stealth camouflage. Can't you even die right? We'll meet again. See him walking, running off with the same chopped off hand. I like you. I have no name. That that exoskeleton. my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... Where are they? What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. Uh. It's not like I didn't fight. 
I managed to resist Psycho Mantis' mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. Because <laughs> I'm a little bitch. <laughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha. Huh. You're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Uh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? <laughs> card keys. To override the detonation code, I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Ah. Not the terrorists. No, that woman. That woman. That woman? What? Who? <gasps> a soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. What? A female soldier. It must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. <gasps> a new recruit? Could that be the colonel's niece? Maybe. Who knows? We'll I find gave out, right? her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. <laughs> I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh. oh. Sorry. Uh. I forgot. Damn! Ah! Uh. Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? No. Hmm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear I mean, from launching, and how all, it's him. Uh... What if he can't Scientists come up with anything? Are, oh, You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. <laughs> oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. Ain't it no proves muff that there's tough. a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. <laughs> In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small There's country no can have a nuclear for. weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. 
To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Oh. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. <laughs> I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes, and after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. <laughs> That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. Uh. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. Oh boy. What kind of data? What all the data ones? collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card, too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret. An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> uh. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? What in the world? Oh, no! Oh, oh no, it can't be! Those Pentagon bastards! So, they, they actually went and did it! What are you talking about? They, they, they're just using you for... Uh-oh. 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 Oh shit. That's too dead. What the hell? Well, that's two. Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. Uh, uh, I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but. Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? No. More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. <sighs> okay. What's that? Show me. Oh well. Ah. Oh, that's cool. Ah. There we go. All right. Oh, that's level four. Wait. 
got level four. There's turrets. Around the hole. Oh, uh, level six. Yeah. We don't have that. What is it, Snake? Okay. Snake, listen to what Lo Chi said. He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. <laughs> Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. If you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it. <laughs> Sweetheart. Risk it for the biscuit. All right, we're gonna do something real quick. We're gonna change the uh, resolution. So, hang on. mode off. There we go. No. Alright, here we go. Oh, I like it. Okay. Alright, now watch out for this right here. Where did he go? He disappeared. Well, where did Johnny go? Johnny's not here no more. Man, that sucks. Oh well. Moving on. Alright. 
So, I just had it. Where did it go? There it is. So, because this is on PC, we don't know exactly what the code is for Meryl. But luckily, I still had the, um, excuse me. Oops, here we go. Luckily, because I still had the case for the PlayStation 1. We're gonna contact someone real quick, so hold on. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the colonel mentioned? That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the nuclear emergency search team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Mm. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same Aww. here, Snake. Yep. Anyways, that's Nat. She's gonna help us with the nukes. Alright. Let's see if my memory is still good. And from the case. So he says. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. <laughs> you're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. <laughs> What's your name? My name's not important. Aha! Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. And <laughs> they're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Aww. Oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So Aww. what's the deal, then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard, anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. It is. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry. I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh, yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. <laughs> anyway. You met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? 
He's dead. Oh. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither, yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we'd better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Oh. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. Five? I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're nope. still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. I'm not green. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Yep. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I, I can't allow to myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Uh. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. That go. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? No. After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. <sighs> okay. Hello, Daryl! Welcome to my stream. I hope your day is going well. Alright, we're gonna go back to the first floor. Thank you for watching, by the way. How am I? I am, well, other than... Hold on a second. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Listen, Snake, the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Oh, no. Gas. Gas. Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. In other words, shit in your pants. Wait, make you shit your pants. You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Uh. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. 
These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Anyways, uh, Daryl, I'm okay. Uh, how about you? How are things going for you, bud? And if I seem kind of skittish, that's because, well, my anxiety levels! I'm doing well, Daryl. Like I said, my anxiety levels are kind of skittish right now because, you know, I've played this game like thousands of times. Okay. But I still get, you know, the anxiety high off of this. You've been depressed? Well, I'm not a doctor. Yet. But the one I'm going for is not in psychology or anything like that, unfortunately. So, I'm sorry that you're depressed. I hope that you're seeing the right people to uh, make yourself better. Okay. And I would recommend, uh, what's that program called? BetterHelp. I guess that's what it's called. Talk to them if you can. Okay. Is it because it's the winter? Because of the seasons? Because it comes and goes? Okay. Because it's like usually the seasons, like winter time, has a lot to do with it. About as useful as a pair of sunglasses at night. Okay. Anyways, Daryl, I hope, like I said, I hope you're taking the right measures to make things better for you. Okay? Mr. Box. Just a box. Oh, I was just about to move too. Mine is clinical. Oh. Okay. Well, hello, City Racing Girl. 545 will be here before I know it. Just want to drop in and say, give. Oh, hi. Hi, City Girl. Thank you for stopping in. All right. I hope you have a wonderful evening if you're going to bed early. Okay. Uh, thank you for. Uh, Check out my uh, side of my uh, stream out. Okay. Anyways, Daryl, I understand that it's clinical. I am so sorry. I wish there was something I could do about it. But unfortunately, like I said, there's. Uh, okay. I try to take care. Just a box. But like I said, uh, I, I do hope you find the right people to talk to about your situation. Okay. Probably a lot stronger than I am. I'm not talking about y'all that are watching the games over here. here. Oh, shit, okay. Anyways. I'm gonna try to play uh, a little uh, putt putt. Keep moving. Come on. Anyways. Why is there a red dot? Oh, they're downstairs. That's what it is. Alright. I'll be right here, buddy. Okay? Putt putt with this guy.
this guy moving. Just a box. Yep, just a box. There's... What? He literally just walked through the box. Oh shit. Okay, time to fuck shit up. Alright, Pindejo. Get up, snake. Two times now that I died. Oh, fuck. Okay. Snake. Okay. Alright, let's try this again. Just a box. Just a box. Get out of the way. Shit.
What was that noise? <laughs> what was that noise? Oh hell. Just a box. Well, yay, Daryl, you got food. Nice. D food is good. Food is great. What'd you get to eat, by the way? I like this some food. You know what I like about food? Food doesn't talk back. It doesn't give you any problems. Problems. Oh, chicken burgers and diced hash browns. Nice. Let me know how that is. Okay. Never had chicken burgers. I've had chicken sandwiches. Is it a chicken patty on a hamburger bun? Okay, it doesn't do that. Alright. Oh, bread. Oh, okay. I am bread. Bread's good too. Uh, white bread, brown, uh, whole wheat bread. Rye. Yeah, R-Y-E, because that was called pumpernickel. Whole wheat, nice. I hope you enjoy it, Daryl. I do. Okay. Alright, let's go downstairs. Oh. Fuck. Okay. God dang it, really? Alright, hold on, Daryl. Gotta go, gotta go. Anyways. What's that? Fuck. That was scary. Be careful, Snake. That yes. airlock is set with infrared sensors. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them, and the doors will seal off, and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Uh. Somehow, you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. <sighs> those are motivational words. Okay, this is what I hate about this. Okay. 
telling you, man, I want to have a heart attack before this is over. Okay. Now. There are mines in the area. from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you, anyway? One of your fans. Okay. I know. They didn't think like that back then when they first came out with this game, so... But if you do pay attention in history, yes, codenamed Deep Throat was the guy that uh, threw President Nixon under the bus during the Watergate scandal. All right, let's go back to work. Yeah, I know there was a movie that was called that too, okay, and the girl that was involved got the short end of the stick when it came to finances. Whoop, whoop. 
Ouch! Damn it. Alright. Ouch! Alright, get up, snake. Times now. Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? Snake! Snake. Those clay mortars are going to come in handy later on down the road. They should have impeached Nixon. Well, yeah, I mean, he was, um, he was impeached by the House. He was on the verge of taking the L train, but, uh, he decided to resign instead, okay? Alright. Then, when Gerald Ford was in office, he would go on to pardon Raven's territory. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. I will not let you pass. But referring to the rules, no politics, please. Okay. Send him a message. <laughs> I am a history teacher. That's and right. You belong. I have on some the opinions ground. about current affairs. You that should I have crawl on the ground history. like the snake you are. So. I keep this as neutral as possible. Go. Let's fight. All right, time to fuck shit up again. <laughs> God dang it! Why am I going on head? head you like teaching? Hey, it has its ups and downs, and. I just got blown to bits again, so this is the fourth time. Hey! Alright. <sighs> we'll get it. Eventually. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm not answering that. Chaff at a long distance to fool its electronic systems. 
Yeah, I like teaching. Seriously? Answer that. <laughs> Go away. I don't know you. Alright. <laughs> Sent the voicemail. Exactly. <laughs> I don't think they had voicemail back then. Alright, let's go for it. What? Okay. One thing I hate about these. Let's go!
you like this. See how you like this. Oops. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, I wasted two on that. Okay. Oh, you ass that. Okay. Die already! There we go, got him. Alright. Oh, Ooh, you're ass to bits. Bitch. Clap, yep, exactly. Stay strapped Wait, or get boss, clapped, right? I hope you are happy. He got the card. We'll play with him a little longer. <laughs> you would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon. After he Much got like killed down you, like three fucking I times. I would expect no less. Anyway. See? How's your sandwich, by the way, Daryl? But I will kill you. So, General Ivan, for your chicken I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. Watch your tongue, In the shaman. language of the Sioux people, awesome. Sioux means snake. What about the hash browns? Are they good? It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special good. care awesome. of him. Awesome. Good. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. Don't kill him He yet. and I will meet again. In battle. Same prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. But I wonder how he was able to get into that tank. Did he use oil? He used something. All right, versus them one tank. Yep, I got a trophy for that. Yippee! Okay. I got a trophy, Dad. I'm smart. I oh, you're smart. I defeated the M1 tank. All I needed was a couple of grenades. It went boom. Okay, before we go any further. What's up, Snake? Get my soul. Wow, 16 minutes. Snake, like Shakespeare said, not had all spent, while our desire is got without content. Basically, it means that your desire can get you into trouble if you're not careful. That goes for items, too. Don't get too greedy or you might be sorry. Be careful, Snake. I'll do whatever I want. Alright. Oh, 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 nope. Absolutely must not use weapons in that area. Damn it! I've already programmed the nano machine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. Damn what? it! What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? No. Nope. Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Maybe. Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. Oh, they just again. leave them here? It's like President Baker said. Totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. 
All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Right, right. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. But I wanna! I wanna! You don't understand, Colonel. I wanna blow shit up. You know, stay strapped and get clapped. God. Suck. Holy cow. Oh, don't come this way. Come on. Nobody move! Oh shit. Mr. Bark. That's right. Walk away. Captain's not in the mood to kill people today. Okay. Ah, peaches and cream, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of peaches, lots of cream. I'm telling you, I'm gonna have a heart attack before this game's over. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Let's see if we can go finish this bitch off. There we go. That's satisfying. Alright, what's over here? Good. 
Come on, buddy. Alright, before we go any further, let's see what we can do here. <gasps> hey, there's Dr. Emmerich. What's that? Huh. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Let's, uh, save here real quick. What's up, Snake? Yep, that's all. Snake in China, they say. You must cross the river before you tell the crocodile he has bad bread. Do you know what that means? It means that the wise man avoids danger first. Use your brain to avoid traps and stay away from the enemy. Duly noted. Okay. Oh, man. Danger? Oh no! What? How ever am I going to survive this? Uh, we gotta take that out. Fuck. Okay. Snake, watch out! That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. Who are you? Just call me. <laughs> Shocking. Deep exactly. Throat. Deep Throat. The informant from the Watergate scandal? <laughs> Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Who are you anyway? One of your fans. Alright. So take a deep breath. Go for it. Alright, that's why I went to the uh, second floor to get this, okay? Alright, here we go. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Nope, nope. Booyah, first try. Uh, nail that. Awesome. Alright. Alright, let's go. This one has gas mask. Oh, we got a rash. Okay. Okay. Pog. I'll eat it. Shit. Okay. Okay. You hate me because you ain't me. I wonder. Shit, I don't have any C4. Okay. Shit, I don't have any C4. Oh well. No 
Oh, do I have any chaff grenades? Shit, okay. Ah, oh, perfect timing. Okay. All right. What the hell's going on in there? Holy hell. Damn. It looks like they were cut by some type of blade. You think? Oh my god. This guy right here. He's dying. You know. Holy crap, he's still breathing. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the. That's what I use when I uh, go to the gym. Alright, but. You caught Snake? Contemplate. Should I save? Yeah, we're gonna save. Okay. Time is it anyways. Yeah, we're gonna have to call it. How's it going, Snake? Have you gotten used to using the radar yet? Yeah, it's a great system. Not only can I read the topography, but I can monitor the movement of the bad guys, too. Pretty convenient, huh? It also makes it easy for us to see everything that you're doing. You're watching everything? Of course. If you were my boyfriend, you'd never be able to cheat on me. Oh being monitored 24 hours a day, that'd be like hell. Uh... Don't think of it like that. At least you'd never get lost. Stalker alert. Anyways. Let's see what we got. Help. Alright. So we're gonna call it, because it's about my bedtime. Okay. Uh shout out to uh, Daryl and yeah, invasion of privacy. Anyways, uh shout out to Daryl and City Gaming for uh coming in tonight and uh, watching my stream. I truly appreciate it okay um for those that are new here i do take these streams off of, I, they stay on twitch 
Oh, sweet. Thank you for following, Daryl. Okay. Anyways. What was I getting at? Ah, yes. I uh, take these streams after I do them live, and I uh, try to export them to YouTube within the first 24 hours. Um, my Last of Us Part 1 streams, Daryl, are on YouTube. You probably watched them on here as well. They're not in the greatest uh, condition when it comes to um, frame-wise because obviously you're playing a AAA game on a con. I'm playing it on a PC that I've had since 2021, and um, I just upgraded the GPU. I have a Radeon 6700 XT in here, and I love it. Okay, but I am streaming on Wi-Fi as well. I don't have a direct connect from the router to my uh, PC. Okay. But this is probably about as smooth as this stream has been in almost since I started back in 2021. All right. Um, thank you again for following. Thank you for watching. I will try to continue with this tomorrow, which is going to be what, Friday? No, Thursday. Okay. Um, once Monday comes around, I cannot guarantee I'm going to continue because I'll be back at work. And I'm also in the middle, you've probably read my um, my about me stuff, I'm in the middle of pursuing a third degree at the moment. All right? So I'm going to be streaming he here when I have the opportunity. Okay. So thank you again for watching. Thank you for everyone that is watching this. And may you all have a wonderful evening. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs>